This is one of the best mobility exercises for your abs and your shoulder mobility. It's a shin box squat to halo. Now the halo can be done with a kettlebell, but I like the med ball because you know it's got a good shoulder width grip to it. It's also padded, so you don't worry about hitting your head with that steel, okay? So we get our good hip mobility here in our 90-90 shape. I exhale up, try to stay level, and then I'm passing the weight around my head. You see that full rotation I get? Complete internal external rotation of the shoulders with load, but also anytime I'm overhead, the abs have to stabilize, so it's great for the core. Inhale down. Start with a light five or 10 pound med ball. Build up over time and either uh, you can switch directions. So that one coming up and I'm gonna go the other way. Or you could just from set to set change the directions, but make sure to mix clockwise and counterclockwise for best results. And it's one of the best exercises to start your workout with, period. <sighs> the Bear to Crab Roll is an amazing hip and shoulder mobility exercise, also incredible for the core. You take a medicine ball and start light and you hug it. Maybe even start with a basketball if you need to, or a volleyball, just to get the feel for it. You can also go body weight, but hugging this kind of gives that elbow flexion and more core and trunk tension. What we're trying to do is go from the bear position to the crab. Now initially, you might have to keep the hips low, or you might have to stop right here. So that is the easiest version of this, just going from here to here, okay? Or here, all the way, but not extended. But ideally, you wanna get those hips all the way up in one fell swoop, all right? A dog should be able to walk underneath you, or a baby. Inhale back, exhale up, and really get some extension in those hips. This is so good. Uh, in terms of like a total lie detector test for your mobility, your stability, and again, a 10 pound ball in this. Even the strongest individuals will get smoked with this for about five or 10 reps per side. You wanna really challenge yourself over about one or two minutes per side, uh, you're gonna love this movement. The slam is a great exercise for stress relief and full body power and fat burning training. Now, there's a couple ways to do it, and there's two options I recommend. One, is with a ball that bounces, okay? And the way I like to do this particular exercise is I start and kind of get more mobility through the triceps and the lats with a overhead position like this. So I got bends, make sure I'm not hypersending the back, crunch the abs, stay tall. I'm gonna exhale down. <sighs> Notice how I drop the hips, right? Shoulders always higher than the hips. You don't wanna do this. No! Spine gone, okay? You're out of commission, you don't wanna do that. And the bounce, allows me to get more turnover and higher rhythm. Maria, get to the chopper now! All right, the chop, awesome core exercise that gets you on your feet. Now, the big focus here is a lot of times people want to twist and they forget that we're twisting through the hips and the upper back, not the low back. So we don't want this. That's gonna really hurt that lumbar spine. So what we want to do is start just outside the knee like this. Notice how I'm not leg, leg straight. I'm kind of in a semi triple bend position, okay? From there, eyes are gonna follow the ball and the belly button is always forward. Exhale up, and look how I've got the top of a split squat, really, taking the back toes, abs crunched, and uh, feeling a big stretch in my hips. Inhale it back to load, exhale it up to explode. Start light, start slow, and take it one rep at a time. Think about stringing together multiple singles. Once you get better at it, you can start to string and kind of speed up the sequence where you're kind of going. You can start to actually not just go down, you can pull yourself down faster to get back up quicker, okay? Great exercise, and we go both ways to fix some balances. Also to have some more fun. Now, if you want to get a different stimulus, you go slam ball. What happened to the slam ball? What happens? Look. It's dead, it dies. So what you have to do is you have to get down there and pick it back up. This is better for more of a power emphasis. You get more time in between reps. And you gotta really kind of squat, deadlift down. So I like to also do this one by reaching overhead and look at my toes. I get all the way up on the toes. So from there, I'm gonna exhale down. I pick it up, inhale it up, exhale it down. Full body, low impact on the joints, and if you're on a level two or higher, you basically wake up your neighbors. They'll get to know you better. Holding a weight in front of your body 
makes your shoulders and your abs have to work harder. I also can play with the same way to make it harder by going here, extended lever, much more core challenge. Here it's easier, and I can often mix between the mid-set or from set to set as I fatigue. But here's how we do the lunge and twist. Inhale back to the nose and the belly as we step down and smoothly rotate to the side. I'm moving through my upper back here. Exhale forward. Make it harder. That long lever, you gotta really root yourself down. Don't just hold it out, by the way. Get those chesticles going. Squeeze it together. Adduct those pecs. And I come down. Pause it for a second, own it. And then come back. You love this exercise. No, you don't, but it's gonna make you better. Do it today.